Hello YouTube. Um, today we're gonna do a video about how to make a branding iron, especially the one that's electric operated. Uh, you'll see a lot of branding iron um, videos on YouTube that will basically uses a, a, a stove heat or some sort of outside heat source to heat up the iron and then they brand it. Um, I have a need to brand several equipments uh, for my beekeeping so uh, it, that wouldn't work so I decided to make one with electric. Those are very expensive if you buy from outside so so let's get started what I made. We're gonna break it down into kind of uh, four sections. First I'll kind of walk through uh, the parts and the, the theory behind the, the manufacturing of this device and then we'll show you a little quick demo and then we'll show that the actual assembly if you're interested and then lastly the 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 most important piece of this iron is the branding piece uh, how we made that so <clears throat> let's start with that so the branding piece you see right here is an aluminum block um, I have access to milling machine and lathe so that's what I utilize to make this so all I did basically is took a, a one and a half inch aluminum stock um, turned it in a little bit um, to about a little over 35 millimeter and I'll, I'll go over that in the next and we also uh, profiled our brand using milling machine so I'll have a video about how we profile this later on, uh, but that's one piece. The second piece is uh, this handle and the bar, or let, let's go to this one. So this is a, um, a band heater. So band heater is basically uh, typically used for a, a plastic injection molding machine. They are very cheap, like $10. You can get it on eBay, uh, or sorry, Amazon. I'll have a link. Uh, to the product page if you are interested in buying it uh, but that's fairly cheap device that you can buy um, uh, for um, for heating the, the aluminum block the branding branding block and, and this is a just a standard 3 8 of an inch um, threaded bar you can get it in Lowe's or anywhere any hardware shop stores uh, and then the third piece is this guy. This is a um, pulse wave ma modulation voltage controller or, or um, you can again get it on Amazon for like five dollar. So the whole thing could be made under 20, 20, 30 dollar depending on what pieces you have. And then lastly this is a wooden handle. I use the, the wooden piece that you typically find in the, the closet organizer uh, racks or the hanging rod basically so I, I use a piece of that drilled uh, 5 16 hole on on the aluminum block and the handle and threaded it in um, I want to also talk about connections so this SCR has two four terminal one is the output voltage and two are input voltage and you'll have a marking on the PCB board the neutral is common so that's why I connected this wire on the same terminal and the input goes on this terminal that's a line and the line out is this terminal so and with this knob you can turn up and down the voltage so that way you can control the heat on the band heater and in turn on the branding iron so you can dial this down to burn any any kind of softwood hardwood or leather or whatever material you're working on and it gives you an additional control on the temperature so that's that now we're going to show you a little demo and then we'll show you assembly process and uh, profiling process so this branding iron we just turn it on and it's heating up i wanted to talk about a couple of other things so when you put this thing together use some sort of a spacer uh, when you mount this device on top of the the bar here uh, so you don't get a shock or anything and, and also it shields from the heat um, this rod's gonna get hot um, so this PCB doesn't get hot um, we're gonna eventually cover this with some sort of cover but right now it's everything is live so don't touch while you're using it obviously uh, I also wanted to talk about this branding uh, block profiling right so this block 
Um, there are a number of ways you can make it. Like I said, I have a milling machine, so I made it with that. But if you don't have a milling machine or, or a lathe, all you have to do is find a brass or aluminum block that's kind of close to this band heater diameter. Doesn't have to be perfect fit. Uh, you can be a little bit bigger than the 35 millimeter. And then you can use, you know, either a Dremel tool to profile the pattern you want. The one thing you want to remember when you make the pattern is you want to profile a mirror image of the pattern you're going for. So this has to be a mirror image. As you can see here, it says H9, but actually it's going to print PH, obviously, right? It's a mirror. Um, if you have a 3D printer, you can um, create a positive mold of your brand on a 3D printer and then turn it into a, a, some sort of casting. I mean, there are a thousand different ways to skin this cat on making this block, but the, the important point I wanted to make uh, uh, in this video was how you can make it electrically operated. Because those seem to be very expensive, like I said. And this kind of gives me a cheap option to create an electrically heated uh, branding iron. So it's still heating up. Uh, while it's heating up, it takes about three to five minutes um, to get proper temperature. We have a few different wood uh, types here. Uh, we have the soft wood. This is my beekeeping frame. Another soft wood, this is like a, a paneling for wall. This is a, even softer than, this is pine. This is even softer than pine. And then I have a little bit of hard wood. This is a, a piece of oak uh, wood flooring. And so I'm gonna try to brand this all three pieces uh, using this. Iron. This is hot enough. Uh, we're gonna try and uh, use this now. So we start with the soft wood. There's the edge right there. Let's do it on the pine now. Okay. There we go. Let's do one more. This is not dark as I want. That's nice. Very nice. Now let's try the 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 oak. So you have to kind of hold it in if it's depending on the wood type. This is a I wanted to go for a very dark finish. Up. I kind of held it on, and that's what I get. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope uh, you can make your own. And we're gonna have a assembly process uh, and, um, and and the profiling process next. Thank you, and please subscribe.
So for this branding iron, we want to cut letter, P. we want to print letter P and H. Uh, so we have to cut the mirror image of that, H and 9. And this picture kind of shows all the dimension in thousandth of an inch of the letters I designed. Uh, the letters thickness is 200 um, and uh, the, the cuts are 150 thousandths. Uh, the overall height of the the edge and 9 are going to be 850 on y axis and 1250 on x axis. And all the other number you see with a C and E at the end are basically uh, DRO distances for X and Y. I, I have a digital readout on my um, milling machine, so my I like to calculate my DRO distance for each cut beforehand so I don't make mistakes when, when I'm cutting it. So let's go over the cutting process now. We started with the aluminum cylinder. We faced the one end of it nice and smooth. We put the die on it. And now we're going to cut a rectangle 1250 by 850 to accommodate our letter H and 9. And then we're going to start cutting the letters. So next we cut the, the slot for, to create area for each of the, the letter we're going to cut. And after we cut that channel between the letters, we go and cut the, the spacing for the H. And the two cuts from, you know, uh, bottom and top of the edge, and then we proceed to uh, cut the major part under the the letter nine or P, the the kind of square, and then lastly we do a plunge cut uh, for a hole inside the nine or or P. Um, at this point, we're gonna now rotate the the piece. So we can cut like two chamfers on the, uh, the, the P or 9. So what we're doing is we're rotating the piece uh, by 45 degree. Uh, and then we're going to cut two chamfers uh, for the P. And that uh, should complete all the cutting um, steps on the milling machine. Uh, at this point you can do sanding and kind of scrub it out and finish the the final piece. 